as part of the Drama Queen Thon Book Club Blue Club. Very nice. As part of the Drama Queen Chitto. <laughs> For something that has Greek myth in it. Myth. So this is about um Hey guys, this is Sonali, the Melodramatic Bookworm. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with a Pride Recommendations video, which honestly, I should have done a long time ago because I knew that I was hosting a Pride Month Readathon, which is Read in Love with Pride. If I knew that, then I should have done this at least a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't. But they do say better late than never, and there's a few days to go for June to end. And it's not like you shouldn't read Pride books throughout the year, right? like that is the whole point like you get introduced to these books to these different experiences the authors are talking about and then you read them throughout the year so that you can educate yourself and moreover it's not just educating it's also about supporting these authors and supporting what they do in a way that you know best so before we get on with the recommendations the self plug i make book related videos on this channel and occasionally a few travel related and a few movie related videos as well so if you like my content if you like what you see then don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you can stay updated as and when i post new videos subscribe subscribe people please the first book that i have for you today is a book that i read pretty recently as part of the drama queenathon book club it was the june pick for drama queenathon and that book is radio silence by alice osman this book is precious Frances Javier is a nerd she is head girl in her school and she scores top marks in all of her subjects she had a best friend called Caris Last who ran away from home a year ago from where the book starts and she is a huge fan of this youtube podcast called uh, universe city and she unofficially makes arts for it she has sketchbooks she does it on her uh, laptop ipad i think and she does a lot of such stuff so keep that aside now she meets alid last technically alid lives across from her house and alid is caris's twin brother so they grow close and they form a sort of a friendship that is so beautiful in its simplicity that i went so everything that follows the revelations that come out the secrets that they have everything mixes together in such a beautiful mixed bag of emotions that it dumps on your head i would highly 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 recommend this book to you and i've heard that the audiobook version is so much better it's so atmospheric that it's that it will give you goosebumps so maybe that's that would be a good place to start off audiobooks with if you are still looking to you know enter the realm of audiobooks so the next book i have for you is not a book but it's a series but i've only read one book of the series and that series is the venery series by suan lakwar i've read the second in the series it's called a charm of finches and i absolutely absolutely loved it it's so heartbreaking but it also puts a gigantic smile on your face as it reads it is a story of two men and how they fall in love with each other and their equation with each other and there's also there are also references to their past which the first book is called an exaltation of larks which i haven't read and but it's on my tbr but uh, it's completely fine you will be able to get through the entire story without losing much information and i think that the venery series is a book that you really really need to pick up please read it because i don't see the series anywhere suan's writing is so beautiful and i think her books need to be getting a lot more press than they are getting at the moment the next book i will recommend to you wholeheartedly and i i don't even know i think i might have to scream because it's so beautiful the book i ugly cried i cried ball like a baby i did everything like whatever phrases you want to use which has the word cry in it i did it so the book i'm talking about is the song of achilles by madeline miller this is obviously a mythological retelling this is about the love story of achilles and patroclus and oh my good god this book is like one of the most amazing retellings i've ever read and i actually bought this on a whim because i had bought circe and i really wanted to read that one so i didn't want to read that before i read this because that came out later and what a decision it was i mean i love circe too but this is 
Shaq's kiss. Madeline Miller's writing is so beautiful, it's so atmospheric, it's poetic and she brings all the nuances of, you know, the Greek myths that are originally, that were originally written and she brings them into this and she fits things into places that you didn't think were possible and I went my heart i can't feel my heart so if you're looking for a good queer book then this is one that you should definitely read and if you're looking for a book that has greek well written greek mythology in it mythological retelling kind of thing then i think this will be your jam the next book that i have for you is one of the most beautiful books that i've seen in a long 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 time and i don't mean the writing i don't mean just the writing i mean its cover as well Without, even without the dust jackets, it's gorgeous. So the book I'm talking about is The Binding by Bridget Collins. Just look at this cover. And let me just... This is how it shines. Yeah. So I think it, this has to be my favorite cover. So this is about Emmett Farmer who works on his family's fields. Okay, that is pretty simple right there. And then he is sent to apprentice for a bookbinder. A bookbinder is someone who takes people's memories and binds them into books so that the people forget them for various reasons, for good or for bad. But Emmett Farmer on going to that bookbinder's place, he discovers something about his own life. And what happens later is is so amazing so heartbreaking but it also gives you hope that i went like oh my god nobody told me about this nobody warned me about this i need to prepare myself but no 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 i'm just exaggerating because i love being surprised like this and i absolutely love this book and i really think that everybody should read it one other thing is that not everybody likes this book so don't have a lot of expectations when you go into this book but do 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 try to read it you might just find a new favorite the next book that i'd like to recommend to you is simon vs the homo sapiens agenda by becky albatali this is one of the most popular books out there with a queer character simon spear is gay he's 16 and he hasn't yet come out to anybody and because he's still trying to find out who he really is but when his email to blue a person who he has fallen for falls into the wrong hands things get really nasty but i also like how becky albertali has uh, you know handled this in this book and the best part that i like about this book is that it raises the question about why is it only queer people who have to come out why is this burden only on queer people that's not fair and that is why i love this book so much because this was one of the first books that i read uh, in this genre and i absolutely loved it i i really really enjoy the writing because it's so light and breezy it also talks about a few other topics which i really suggest you go and read this you'll find out what they are especially how simon's parents see him and i i was like i fell in love with them if you're looking for a light breezy read language wise then this is a book that you should definitely pick up there are a lot of amazing queer books and i feel like this is one of them it's been written by a white cishet woman and she's written it very well i really like how this book is unless there are some problems that i have been blind to i feel like this is an amazing book the next book that i'd like to recommend to you is the Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This is a, a standalone high fantasy that is that it takes time for you to get in, but once you get in, you are so pulled into the story. This is a big ass book. I'm my, my hand is aching. The most important reason why I love this book is because Samantha Shannon has written same sex relationships in a very normal manner. There's absolutely no point in the story where. Uh, a characters being bisexual or uh, lesbian or anything else has a huge you know bearing on the the bigger plot see i know i'm not doing a great job of it but le let me put it this way if the people in a story in a fantasy story were straight it would be 
taken as the normal right no stress would be given on the fact that they are straight this book does that with queerness and i absolutely love it the amount of details that the author has put into this book is mind-blowing and to see it all come together in the 800 pages that this book spans is a treat an absolute treat i love it and i really think if you are picking this up have some patience read it like slowly steadily take your time but do pick it up and do try to read it because it's amazing i know it won't work for everyone but please do give it a try the next book i have for you is cobalt blue by sachin kundalkar and translated into english by jerry pinto this was i think originally written in marathi and it has two parts the story is that uh, someone comes to live in a household on as a paying guest if i'm not mistaken and uh, the kids in the house uh, like a girl and a boy both fall in love with this guy and each of these parts follow what both these characters think about their relationship with this man and i really enjoyed reading it because it it was written very beautifully i mean the language could have been a little better i mean i'm not someone who to judge but otherwise the story is brilliant and i think everybody who's looking to learn more about what goes on in the minds of at least indian queer kids need to read more such books and cobalt blue is a great place to start the next book i have for you is aristotle and dante discover the secrets of the universe by benjamin aliria science and this is a book that i had a whole lot of expectations from but when i read it i felt that they didn't meet that expect those expectations like it's not that i did not like the book i gave it a four and a half out of five stars because it was so chill so easy to read and uh, it had a lot of heft in it in the characters i really enjoyed reading about the conflicts in ari's mind and how carefree dante is but there's a lot more to it than just that but yes my expectations were here and it just fell short of it like it was just here but i'm not complaining because i did enjoy reading the book it is an important lgbtqia plus book and everybody must read it so if you get the chance or if you're looking to buy a book and read a book that is that has queer characters in it that has gay romance in it then i think this is another book that you can pick up the last book that i have for you today is the mercies by kiran millwood hargrave and this combines the salem witch trials and everything that happened around it in the uh, island of wardo in norway and it combines that with female female romance my heart broke at this book this is one of my favorite books of uh, 2020 and as i read it i was like i i don't know what to say because it 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 happened so far you know far back in history in the past that i'm like even if i want to do something about it if i want to you know see some change in it i can't because it's already happened and done it's gone and as you approach the end you you just i'll just say that you need to keep a box of tissues handy without that you're not you're not getting through this book without that because it's that that beautiful i realize i haven't talked about this book on my channel because i went on a break immediately and i think i read this in march or april early april i think i don't remember exactly but this is one book that you really need to read if you're looking for a female female romance then this is a book that will rip your heart out play squash with it and then give it back to you plus this also has that historical aspect to it so there's a lot of uh, you know historical facts that the author has brought together and she has you know spoken so beautifully about them in narrative form obviously and i really think that it, you should should pick this up please do pick this up and read it so those were the prior recommendations that i had for you today which of these have you read which ones do you want to read which ones are on your tbr which ones are you reading what books are you reading for this pride month are you participating in read and love with pride let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear from you if you like this video please like it and share it to spread the word and if you like my content and would like to see more from me don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified as and when i post new videos thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video until next time keep reading keep watching and add melodrama to your life